welcome. Glad you could be here. And, uh, you know, I, I will say it's, it's, it's been a difficult. On top of that, the stress, the fear, the, the difficulty, the pain. Obviously, some of you may know, I, I survived an attack today. I don't know how I do it. It's so hard. When Anna comes for me, how will I ever recover? <laughs> you cut me to the quick, woman. How would you ever come up with something that gets me right in the heart? You know how homophobic I am, and it just gets me right away. I'm, I'm going to be strong. Thank you, chat room. I will try and be strong. I don't know what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> All I was trying to say was vote, you know. And, ah! and then she comes at me with something like straight out of Shakespeare. And I don't even know, what am, how am I supposed to respond to that, you know. I was going to make like an obscene balloon animal. Ah! But it just didn't seem enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm actually crying from laughing so hard. Um, <laughs> thank you, Matt. Thank you very much. Um, uh, uh, um, always back to Anna Kasperi. Why don't you just work it out? <laughs> um, thank you very much. Uh, I'm a vegetarian. Uh, um, so yeah. So this is, uh, uh, I uh, obviously had the response that uh, every logical person had today when the uh, Republicans all in lockstep blocked the PACT Act uh, to, to expand benefits to veterans who uh, are, were exposed to burn pits and are experiencing uh, cancers. And our dear friend Major sharing with us today that he's got recurring cysts from this shit. And the Republicans do this just for spite. And these assholes over at TYT are telling us that, ah, there's no difference. Every Democrat voted for the fucking thing. As a matter of fact, they drafted it in the first goddamn place. Every single one. Every single one. Every single one voted for the CHIPS Act, too. Every single one is going to vote for the, the new mansion deal, too. Now, every single one of them. Not a single Republican. Not a one. Not fucking one. But hey, two legs in the same pair of pants. And I think it was Chink Uger who recently said the Democrats are bastards. That was a that was an action. Remember that? We we played that. They, they don't care about you. They're bastards. They're bastard people. And I hate them and their ass faces. Um uh, I said uh um so initially. I posted this. The Biden Mansion Schumer deal will include, and this is true, $369 billion in energy and climate change initiatives. The American Rescue Plan had almost $200 billion. It actually had closer to $400 billion, but I was being generous because some of it, some people will view the infrastructure improvements to be, you know, include like railroad crossings, which are for cars and therefore not whatever the fuck. But it also included, uh, you know, electric charging stations and the like. And, and the Infrastructure Act, which also passed. And then that, $65 billion for clean energy, energy and grid-related grid investments. $7.5 billion, I can speak. $7.5 billion to build a national network of charging stations for electric vehicles. $55 billion to expand access to clean drinking water, which is removal of lead pipes. But, you know... F fuck Flint, Michigan. If we can't get everything, nobody gets anything. Right, guys? And $21 billion to uh, clean up uh, Superfund and brownfield sites and cap orphaned oil and gas wells. All um, what, what I would refer to in my life as good things. Now, if you'll recall, recently we showed a, a flip out uh, that Anna Kasparian did. I think it was over the judge in Kentucky. Remember that? Hold on, let me. I had a uh, let me see, let me see if I can find. I mean, not that we need to watch it again, but God knows it'd be worthwhile. So, 
the um um let's see so we'll go to two let's say and then thing and then um and then right and then they're live shitting on mansion's deal because it pokes a hole in their whole fucking raison d'etre and uh Let's see. They were there. It was one of the shorts. Um, let's see. Right wing hypocrisy is good. It's because it's. I mean, they pack. They. I will. You got to give them this. They got. They a shit ton of videos. They crank these fuckers out in bite sized, inane asshole mor uh, uh, morsels. Let's see. There we go. There we go. I think this is it. How can any Democratic voter look at this sad, pathetic excuse for a leader <laughs> and think, mm. nailed it? Mm. Wakey, wakey, Democratic voters. Mm -hmm. Sorry, why did that click back? What the fuck? Go back. How can any Democratic Wait, voter... There, pause. Okay, there it is. Look at this sad, pathetic excuse for a leader... Who uh, got us out of Afghanistan, cut the deficit and unemployment in half, uh, passed the largest rescue package for people in American history, uh, has added more than... Uh, three quarters of a billion dollars to fight climate change to the U.S. budget and outlays in the last uh, 18 months. Uh, what else? It is set, by the way, to pass a bill that, through a compromise of mansion that will cap costs for Medicare patients and cap insulin. Okay, please continue. And think, nailed it. I, I, I mean, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, within the realm of human possibility and actual human beings uh being capable of the things that they say they're capable of we yeah, have pretty much rocking it wakey wakey democratic voters yeah so what she means is don't vote this fall just, just for the record all of the apologists for corporate democrats who spend all she means me all their days on twitter shaming anyone who dare question the leadership no no no. we're not you can question anything you want it's america uh we're the, we're pissed at you fuckers for depressing the vote. Fuck you. Of these pathetic people in the Democratic Party. Ah, pathetic. Yeah, like Elizabeth Warren and, and Ron Wyden and, yeah. Wakey, wakey. We, you already said that part. This is a lifetime judgeship. Oh yeah, the, by the way, this was about something that didn't happen. It's a federal judge. Yeah, that it, it didn't happen. It's a federal judgeship. Is it federal, though? Which is why the president appoints the individual. Yeah, but it has to clear the state. But this didn't happen anyway. the Senate confirms the individual. Right, but the states have a, they have a say in their, oh, never mind. <laughs> we talked about this I don't know if before. you guys know this. Might sound a little crazy. Democrats are in charge in the federal government. No, they're not. We have 48 votes in the Senate. Why are we doing favors for turtle man Mitch McConnell? Um, we're, we're not, but I will say um, it, <laughs> we need, we, you, well, judgeships in general, you can't pass, you can do the Supreme Court judges with, uh, with 50 plus the VP. You can't do other judges that way, dummy. How can- Oh, by the way, that's it. That's the entirety of the thing. Um, there was, a, wasn't there another one though? Fuck, I have to go through all these. Um, it was like, uh, uh, maybe it was just in the clip that she was talking about uh, the long form uh, where where we did the needle drop in the middle of it, where she was like, um, yeah, Joe, is this it? Joe Biden would go. be stupid to run again in 2024. Ugh. He needs to... Sit his ass down, take his nap. Why do you want to run again in 2024? You're ineffective. Yeah, he's ineffective. You are a failure. He's a failure. He's, I mean, again, we're out of Afghanistan, infrastructure bill, cut the deficit and unemployment in half. Uh, they're, they're, about, they're on the precipice of capping insulin. Um, but I'm sorry, say, what, what now? You have failed the electorate. I see, all right. You have all these people showing up to vote. Can't uh, um, 
Yeah, once. And even then, you have to show up multiple cycles in a row because this election is not, Joe Biden's not running this time, by the way. You recognize if you're angry at him for shit that you made up, taking it out on Democrats that he would need to pass the agenda is uh, counterproductive. Canvassing on your behalf. In yeah, Anna canvassed on, <laughs> on Biden's behalf. Ensuring the two Democrats won the Senate runoff races in Georgia because... Did, did Anna canvass in Georgia? You said it was so important to have that majority in the... Well, it's not a majority. We literally don't have a majority. We can just pass, uh, if we get 50 votes, it control of the Senate it, with one vote is not a majority. Senate. And then you turned around and did nothing. Nothing. For you the did nothing. You don't fucking do nothing. American people. You sit, don't do, sit, sit down. Sit down, you do nothing. Okay. Why is she yelling? Because she's angry. She's angry um, because she is responsible for the PACT Act not getting passed today. Now, ultimately, it will get passed because, and again, this is what I was referencing when I, this is what Anna Kasparian calls nothing, okay? Nothing, you've accomplished nothing, <laughs> right? And uh, usually, they'll let one of these slide, right? I don't know why, you know, I did tag her in it, and this was her response. Only a washed up water boy. So, uh, well, I, uh, yeah. Uh, for corrupt politicians uh, would celebrate handing our public lands over to the fossil fuel industry for more drilling and fracking as the world burns. It's like I'm, I, I didn't realize Anwar was in the bill, but we'll have to take a look. The profits from federal lands will be privatized. The climate consequences will be socialized. Um, and, uh, and I, you know, I obviously... Uh, this is the mansion deal ties clean energy products to oil drilling. Yes, we know. Don't And then the response was, nice to know you still get easily triggered, your guilty conscience. It's the only way most of us uh, know you have a conscience at all. Good luck rooting for failure. Don't you have some voter turnout to suppress? That was my response. My, hey, don't you have some voter turnout to suppress? Was, I think, a, a criticism of her on a professional level, on a, you know, on a career level. Maybe that's what this was. Maybe this is a queers folk slam. Don't you have a corporate Democrats dick to choke on? All right. So, um, so I of course respond to tell you what if we do a queers folk reboot, I'll have them write it in. Um, but yes, very very upset these folks. Very very upset. Um, <laughs> um, Overall, and by the way, let's, uh, by the way, I, I want to, there she goes, she tries, and this is the Bloomberg thing. This is what she's tying it to. Um, Mansion wins big nods to oil and deal ending log jam on climate. Oil, gas, lease sales considered linchpin for Mansion support. Green groups rage at measure, they say, undercuts climate goals. Um, where, yeah, the Biden administration is down from 50% to their 40% carbon goals just on this bill alone. Um, is, is we got 40%, not 50%. And that's the clamor. The breakthrough spending deal reached by Senator Joe Manchin, Chuck Schumer would commit a historic $370 billion uh, to combat climate change through clean energy tax credits, a green bank, and incentives to plug methane leaks. But it comes at a cost that some green activists are finding impossible to accept. More oil and gas leases on public lands and waters. The measures outlined late Wednesday in the 725-page spending bill require the sale of drilling rights in the Gulf of Mexico and Alaska um, the bill, which, by the way, we already sell. This is not like virgin territory. The bill would also make new renewable power projects on federal land and water contingent on future sales. The bill would also make renewable power projects on federal land and water contingent on future sales. The legislation, the legislation illustrates the challenges Democrats in winning over coal-loving mansion, a key moderate, by the way, you're not getting coal out of offshore drilling, a key moderate whose vote is needed in the uh, evenly split Senate whilst meeting the rest of his party's demands to make climate change a major and urgent priority. Mansion's steadfast support of his home state's fossil fuel industry is enraged environmentalist and could lead to yet another setback for the climate agenda of President Joe Biden. Yes, passing a bill is a setback.
who campaigned on a pledge to block new oil and gas drilling on public lands. This climate, su this is a climate suicide pact. Brett Hartle, a director with the Center for Biological Diversity, an Arizona-based environmental group. The amount of leasing this bill mandates is absolutely massive. I don't think the climate offsets are enough to cover all the drilling that is going to happen. To be sure, the breakthrough deal includes what would amount to a record level of spending on climate change, including a slew of new and extended tax credit for solar, wind, nuclear power, energy storage, and clean energy that has been hard fought for the renewable energy industry. It extends tax credits for electric vehicles vehicles and other clean cars, including for the first time used models. Analysts, yes, that's right. You can now get a tax credit buying a used electric car or hybrid. Analysts at the Roading Group said an initial analysis shows the measures could possibly put the U.S. on track to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 40% by in, in 2030. By the way, this bill alone, this is not the only thing we're doing. Let me, let me remind everybody, this bill alone will push us to 40%. This bill alone pushes to 40%. Not including the stuff that was in the infrastructure bill, not including the stuff that was in the rescue plan, not including the uh, the $2.8 billion that Biden signed last, like a week ago. The concern is if we don't get this across the finish line, there is no way we can meet President Biden's climate goals. Under the legislation, the Interior Department would be able to issue new wind and solar rights over the next decade if it recently held oil and gas lease sales. The requirement would constrain the administration's ability to prepare fossil fuel developments on federal land despite pleas from climate activists to halt drilling and rapidly pivot to green energy. The new oil easing requirements come in addition to other fossil fuel benefits that are loathed by environmentalists who could draw opposition from progressive Democrats in the House, many of whom sought a more expansive climate plan. By the way, Camilla Jayapal and all these were just were touting this deal. Democrats can only afford to lose four votes if every Republican in the chamber votes against the measure. The deal uh, announced Wednesday includes subsidies, and that's uh, in the House. Um, so if the squad votes against it, if they lose one more, I guess the squad and Rokana, is he technically part of the squad, then the deal falls apart. The deal announced Wednesday includes subsidies as much as 85 dollars per metric ton for carbon capture, an amount seen potentially extending the life of coal plants with billions of dollars in tax credits. Um, the increase from the current level of $50 was backed by a coalition of groups that included Utility DTE Energy and Coal Mining Group Peabody Energy Group. Um, um, this, is, this is the thought uh, by environmentalists that if you get into the carbon capture business, it makes it, it, it will mitigate the damage by fossil fuels and therefore you know, that will encourage more fossil fuel use. Well, we don't have to encourage more fossil fuel use worldwide. And taking it out of our addition would put us on track for the Paris Climate Accord um, changes that we were working towards anyways. The legislation also subsidized the production and use of hydrogen, a fuel backed by mansion, through a uh, production tax credit and other means. That's right. There you go. Uh, Honda's uh, hydrogen car making a comeback. There you go. In the short term, the Interior Department would be required to hold previously planned lease sales in the Gulf of Mexico and Alaska and Cook Inlet. The Interior Department had said in May that it was scrapping all three auctions, citing a lack of inter industry interest for the sale of tracts of land in the Cook Inlet and conflicting court rulings for the decision to nix two Gulf auctions. The legislation would also, they for fucking lands already up. They were already up. Oh, God. The legislation would also effectively reinstate an auction of Gulf leases that was held in Okay, but later invalidated by a federal judge after finding that the government didn't sufficiently examine the climate consequences of the move. That went back on the block. We, we, that's been out for a while. Under the bill, the Interior Department would only be able to issue new onshore wind and solar rights uh, of uh, right, rights of way on federal land if the agency had held an onshore uh, oil and gas lease sale in the prior four months. For offshore wind, the requirement would be an auction of offshore oil and gas leases um, of uh, spending at least 60 million acres in the year beforehand. The measure lays out requirements for the timing and scope of these auctions, and it mandates that which we've already surpassed those levels. If a sale sparsely attended or no successful bids are lodged for oil and gas leases, the requirement would be met. So the ones that there was lack of interest in Alaska... Remember that? Okay, that qualifies for the next fiscal year, which means they don't have to be sold, which means you can sell them to oil. You can, you, they've already met that standard in the law and you can sell offshore wind farms now. 
The potential mandate follows criticism from some oil and gas advocates that the Biden administration has moved too slowly in offering federal land and water for new drilling. And they come on the heels of a Biden administration proposal for a five-year oil and gas leasing plan that includes an option for no new offshore sales between 2023 and 2028. The provision, which would, if you sold a bunch this year, then you could buy this law. You wouldn't have to sell them for a year after that. And then the year after that, yeah, there we go. This gives us energy security, Manchin said Thursday. Um, and then the final deal is well balanced. The deal would impose long sought for reforms for the oil and gas industry with new and higher fees for developments on public land and water. That includes requiring energy companies to pay royalties on all of the oil and gas produced on federal lands, including the methane that is vented, flared, or otherwise escapes into the atmosphere. It, which is currently not what's the law. It remains to be seen whether the underlying legislation, which includes a slew of new and extended tax credits for clean energy and electric vehicles, can be backed uh, by the full Democratic caucus in the 50-50 Senate. It would also have to pass the House, where progressives have sought a much more expansive plan. Um, they're going to vote for it. This, by the way, this is the, uh, this is the gotcha that uh, Anna threw up that it's better if we don't have this at the rest of this. By the way, the, the rest of it isn't all climate. This is just the climate portion of that bill. Um, that said, whoops, here we go. That was fat. Oh, and, and apparently someone didn't like that. Uh, she said, uh, washed up. And I said, uh, everyone washes up after talking to you, Anna. It's the only way to get the stank off. And someone said, log off, Hal. Boo-hoo. Mm -hmm. Boo-hoo. Um, yeah. So anyways, there we go. That was, that was my, uh, that was my afternoon with that crowd and not so, I mean, somehow I think there seems to be a, a belief on that side that I'm going to, if attacked over this stuff, get upset and stop calling them out for suppressing the vote. Like, why the fuck would I? You, you see, because unlike the Young Turks, and I mean this genuinely, I actually give a shit about these changes being made. Enough to recognize what is materially possible, take what we can get, and build on it because lives are on the line. Instead of sitting in multi-million dollar homes, like she and, one, and her cohort and one of her ex-cohorts, um, do on the regular and say, uh, I'll accept the progress when it comes to me. Sorry. I, I'm, I, that's not how life works. And, uh, and I'm uh, seriously not going to back down ever from that shit. And I think it, the reason they get that upset is because they know I'm right. They, they get really triggered when I bring up the fact that they helped deliver the White House to Donald Trump in 2016. They did. They know they played a part in it. That's why they get so mad. And you can't be a progressive if you don't make any fucking progress. Ahem.